Hey, what's up everyone? Okay, so we're going into the next uh, video setup now, which is going to be for setting up your audio MIDI um, equipment. Now that you've got the drivers loaded for your MTP uh, MIDI timepiece from Mutu, and you also got your Mutu 896 HD set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to um, the applications folder. And then I'm going to select um, utilities. And under utilities, I'm going to select the audio MIDI setup. And then it opens up over here, as you can see. And I've got two windows that actually open. Um, and here's my MIDI timepiece that I just installed. I already installed one keyboard, that's the Corrig X5 that I'm using as my MIDI controller. So if you want to add another instrument, all you have to do is click on Add Device, and then it immediately drops a device into the window. Now I know that my MIDI, my MIDI controller is coming in on port 1, so what you have to do is you see these little wires that drag, drag down to the arrows, you just grab one of the little triangles and it always goes down triangle to down triangle and then up triangle to up triangle, okay? So that's how it works. Um, now I've just set up another instrument on um, my port two, as you can see here, port one, port two. Um, so I know that this will definitely work because it's recognizing my MIDI timepiece AV here. It's also recognizing my 896 HD and my MCU Pro um, USB. So that is the Mackie uh, Universal Control Unit. So. You can also change the, um, the pictures for these um, little icons you bring in here. You can change them and stuff like that. Um, so uh, you can also name them. So you want to come in here and give it a name. And there's, you know, different, you can see it understands Mackie and um, Mark of the Unicorn. And you can put your model number in here. Um, so you click on the picture over here, and then it has a whole bunch of different instruments that you can select from um, for your setup. So uh, that's pretty much it. Again, just click on the picture to, to choose a different uh, icon. Um, you can set up the instrument information here, and once you're done, just hit apply, and that's it. So I don't, I don't really, um, I don't want to apply this, nor do I want this. So I'm just going to remove it. And you can remove it by just clicking with the right mouse button and it'll just disappear out of the screen. So that's how you set up your instruments um, in the MIDI setup. Please stay tuned for more of my videos in regards to setting up Logic Pro 9 because I still haven't mapped any of my instruments in the environment yet in Logic Pro 9 and I don't know if it's going to be different from Logic Pro 7, but it may be slightly different. So um, please stay tuned for the next videos coming up. Thanks again and have a great day.